In the shadows of Manhattan, Stevens Institute of Technology students in red hats size up, saw, and sand their way to building their sustainable and resilient or sure house. It's being built uh, mostly out of materials, everyday materials, everyday building materials. It's for the U.S. Department of Energy's Solar Decathlon 2015 for universities. 20 teams tasked with building solar-powered houses that are affordable, attractive, easy to live in, and energy efficient. It's 100% solar powered, as I've mentioned. Uh, it's 90% less energy use for heating and cooling because we're air sealing and insulating it so well. Steven students designed and built the solar shutters that shade the large windows that can heat the house. The shutters close to guard against 135 mile an hour winds and they have solar panels connected to the water tank. So the sun heats the water even in an extended power outage you can still be producing hot water and take hot showers. The students of Stevens Institute of Technology designed, engineered, and are building this house with not just the solar decathlon in mind, but for an horizon well beyond it. We're really designing this house, particularly for the Jersey Shore, that's our target market, but um, really any coastal area that's susceptible to rising sea levels and increased storm activity, this house is ideal for. What Sandy did to New Jersey has inspired these students to build a resilient, 1,000 square foot, two bedroom, one bath house with a kitchen, dining area, and living area. A house whose solar system has no battery or diesel backup, but packs a ton of features so it will stand up to nature, its ravages, and its aftermath. And so after a storm, you're returning back to your home. We're still able to produce standby power that we're designing. Um, we're actually designing a few charging stations in the home to enable community members to come over and charge their devices after a storm. It really does. Um, have a purpose far beyond just the solar decathlon competition. The designers say the Shore House is 10 times more airtight than the average house with super flood proofing. Uh, on the exterior, we're putting all sorts of uh, plastic sheathing around that's actually continuous, making it essentially a bathtub. Because it's waterproof, it's buoyant. So we spend just as much energy holding the house down than we do keeping the water out so that the buoyant forces of the houses are strong. So in our engineering are, are, are the systems that keep the house down when the waters rise. So if we disconnected, it would float. The Stephen Shore House heads on the highway to Irvine, California next month for the solar decathlon in October. And then we'll come back to go on the Jersey Shore. This prototype costs about $350,000 to build, but mass produced would make it a lot less and much more affordable. The young designers and builders see it as necessary, as their intellectual response to Sandy and more. And so we are trying to start this conversation, and the Solar Decathlon is giving us that opportunity. In Hoboken, Michael Hill, NJTV News.